The big question is, are they not going to miss the presence of Eli Castle last year? Hey, the massive season. defender. <laughs> and Daniel Watkins gets bullied off the ball, but re manages to recover. Finds Bande and unfortunately can't keep her going. Now, the thing is, Bande has struggled last week. He had an injury that he picked up last week. The question will be if the rehab has been done, can he find that pace that we know he's dangerous with? And we look at as Glenwood Glen now look to enter the final third. Maton. Here's Maton. Sprays the ball into midfield. Opportunity for a shot and it's over the bar. Decent strike and goal there by Ukumete. For, for now, I think in two years' time, it'll probably be one of the. Oh. Yes. Good turn by Banda Jamini. Good mopping up by Ungobane. And now the p pressure's on. Counter attack. Pass intended towards him, duly intercepted. Glenwood again back at it. And there Hitting he away is. There by Obandile Mbata. Four goals to his name across seven matches. Bunting. Cuts it across to Banda Jamini. Shapes to shoot. Feeds it back wide to Bunting. Played with a lot of panache now. A waste for Boys High. Angle Brach looking to pick out his man with some skill. He cuts it back. Shots coming in. But over the top by Ngobo. No team really keeping position here. Yep, very scrappy for now. As Ubayan Dadlamini controls. He's got an eye for goal. Start for Kaysen Academy last year in the Pine Town Sook Puck Up. Where's for this man committed a data puddle. Has a crack at goal. Deflect the shot. Word and just in the nick of time, McLeanwood able to snuff out the danger. Here's Joka Bonito smiling through, he gives it away. Engelbrecht switches play to Ndando Ngob. Oh, what a ball! What a ball by Blaine Engelbrecht, and let's put Westfall on the counter. Can they? Oh, Good save. save! Shot there! Oh, my word! Golden opportunity, kills Edge. Plays over the bar. Great ball there by Blaine Engelbrecht to Ndando Ngob. Ndando Ngob. Helped by Ubayan Dajlamini. Yes, number 16, and we kick off once again, and it looks like Coach Ryan Liberty is forced to make the change. Madonda for Glenwood. Throw but in. Uh, Taken quickly. But our eyes are back to the game. Westville currently playing with 10 players down, and it looks like Westville trying to play out of their way. Kurt Rogers now. Does well. Sprays it across. Angle Brach. Retreats back to Umkosi. Bunting helps it on. And gives it away. To Jaden Davids. I like him Juli. Joga Bonito. Here he is. Raiding into the penalty area. I like it. Great step over. Cuts it back. And there it is. 1-0 to Glenwood. Unfortunately, Mduli takes on Mkosi 1v1. Mkosi gets beaten. And the cutback. Unfortunately, no one picking the back of the, the back post. And that is... An easy tap in. Brilliant goal. Tabiso Matlad came on for Untandon Gobo. As Westford Boys, I take it down a notch with some sterile position. This is what you need to try and get it. You don't have to rush. You've still got time. It's still the first half. Try and build a bit of pressure. Try and keep the ball. But unfortunately, can't do Mduli once again. Great tenacity. Man. Unfortunately, Mduli. falls Play down. On. Now the question is, will Samande <laughs> allowing it to play? Even though it's a head injury, will he call it back? But no. And it shot is. from Madonna! Oh. That was close. Attacks from Westville. He's going to take this free kick. Floats it into the area. Well defended by Westville. Madlala helps it on into the path of Banda Lamini. Good pass to release Blaine Engelbrecht, who turns on the afterburners down the left wing. And he is surrounded by three players. Yeah, triple teamed by a cluster of Westville bodies. Sorry, Glenwood bodies. Madlala. Looking for that after needle pass towards Ujlamini. Draws a free kick just outside the penalty area. Now, can Westfall get a goal before half time here? Matalak. Ward oh, does his job. Second bite of the cherry off target. Deflection by Umbata. Pushes it to the path of Kiran Chetty. Back to Umbata. And Turns on the after burners. Mbata. Throw it goal. Mbata. Good yep. goalkeeping by Mguni. He spills it. Good defending by Westfall. Shanke. Oh my word, that would have been a scream of a goal. Ryan Shaw, Madala, clips one, and it goes in! Sonny saves! Surely that's the save of the match! Oh. Well, this should be the final kick of the game, final...
Pano, Zamande looking at his his watch. Shout to the front lady, she can come. And Bande, Bate, Bata, Bata, wrap it up. Team efforts. And Zamande. And that is the game. And West Wall well, unfortunately lose 1 0 to Glenwood High School. And the question is who is your man of the match? Plenty, I give it to Alak and Duli. He's done enough in the first half uh, to earn himself the man of the match gong as Glenwood High School have retained uh, the Costa League uh, title and they have won it uh, with a slender margin victory over Westville Boys High School. It was a similar scoreline two years ago that favored Westville. Commiserations though to the Griffins who huffed and puffed. Just wasn't their day.